the Joe Rogan experience. Wow. This what year was this? Dear God, I don't remember. I've been hitting 90s? the head so much I don't even remember. <laughs> yeah, Look, you, you're great for a guy who's been hitting the head as many as you. Well, I never had a concussion. I will say that. Well, you must have. Never had a concussion. Really? No. Nope. Well, what is a concussion? A co concussion is like, will they check your pupils? They're not dilating None of correctly? It. None of it. None of it. No concussions at all? No. All that hard sparring? No. Nope. Never. I find that hard to believe. It I seems never weird. got hit with a shot that I didn't see coming. And I think that's the Ever? difference. Ever? Nope. No. Wow. Besides one time in a huge fight where a dude hit me on the side of the head with a brick and I saw it last second and I at least rolled with it. And that didn't give you a concussion? You know, he, I, he, uh, it was a huge, bro it was hip hop night at the nightclub I was bouncing at. Oh, sounds like fun. And the, and the, <laughs> and, and the Illinois gangbangers and the Iowa gangbangers started oh, going at it. And I tried breaking it up and they all attacked me, right? Oh, Jesus. So that's when I, everybody was wearing, it was winter time, so I was choking people. A guy got me in a headlock, and I was grabbing people by their coat lapels, and I put my head in between his head and his head, and I'd choke him unconscious. I'd find a new coat, and I was working my way backwards out the front door and finally snuck out of the headlock, put him in a rear choke, went backwards out the door. He went limp. I dropped him, and then as I turned to get out into the street, because there was cops everywhere at that point. There's dogs. There's, it's a snowstorm. Last second, I see this coming at the side of my head, and I duck, and it bounces off my head, and this dude goes, yeah, like I was going to go down. And I turned, and I looked at him and rifled him with the right hand and knocked him out. And then the next thing you know, there's just dogs diving into the crowd. Oh. It, was, it was a good one. That was a fun one. Dogs, that's not good. No. Yeah, they're but not it, Dogs very, work. They work. They work real well. <laughs> it's not good because they don't know who the fuck they're biting. They might bite you. They might bite <laughs> the bad guys. I mean, who the fuck... Dogs don't know who the bouncer is. They, they clear a, a crowd out real quick, though. Fuck yeah, they do. Yeah. yeah. Malinois? Is that oh, what they were using? Uh, back then, it was shepherds. Really? It was all German shepherds. Yeah, Malinois hadn't even entered the scene at that time. I have a buddy who trains dogs who doesn't like Malinois. He says they're too bloodthirsty. He says they too won't aggressive. Listen. Yeah, he goes, they don't listen as well. Interesting. He goes, he goes I can trust a shepherd. Right. He goes, bite, hold, and release. Yeah. He's like, if I sick a Malinois on him, he goes, the fuck no. So he goes, also, I don't trust him like as a pet. Right. You know, he wants a dog that is is a real trained bite dog, yeah. but also... Good with the family. Can, yeah, can yeah. hang out with your kids. Right. Well, it's like, I've owned Mastiffs before, right? And Mastiffs... I have a Mastiff. They're, you know, I had Brindle Mastiffs, and I always loved to have males. And I had a stalker for three years who was a psychopath, right? So that was when I got my first Mastiff, King. He was 210 pounds, but he was a Brindle. Scary, looked like a Bengal tiger, right? And he... That, those dogs are so powerful, you know, at that size when they're truly in shape where you can't stop them. And there were people that were using Mastiffs for police work, and they stopped using them because a 210-pound Mastiff on a human being, they can kill them really fast. Yeah. This is, not a, this is not a bite dog. This is a dog that can just have a screw go loose and rip somebody's throat out in a heartbeat. They're yeah, just too big and powerful. Yeah, if the suspect hurts them, if something hurts them and they, they, they think, Get oh, pissed. this is a fight. Right. I'm just going to rip your yeah. fucking head clean off your body. Right. And, and that, not, that Mastiff tested me a couple times Ooh. for alpha position in the house. Oh, no. It was one time a uh, plastic bag in the wind was rolling through the woods in, on my property, and he ran and he grabbed it, and I told him, you know, King, come here, front. And he came up to me, and I put my hand on the plastic bag, and he goes, eh. It's like, all right, here it is. This is, this is test time. So I ripped the bag, and it came out of his mouth, right? And he really got pissed off at me. I was testing him. So at that point, I'm like, well, I can't back down to him now. This, right. this is it. So I put my fist against his teeth that he was showing, and I was going, do it. Do it. Jesus Christ. Do it. And he's like this <laughs> with his teeth going, Arr. I'm going, do it. Do it. And finally, he turned and backed off, and then I pet him, and he was wagging his tail, and I was like, all right. Ooh. That was that was kind of scary. <laughs> Ryan Parsons got in a fist fight with his Mastiff. Really? Yeah, he had a Neapolitan Mastiff in college, and they got in a fist fight. <laughs> he goes, it was a real fight. He goes, I had a fight with my Mastiff. I'm like, maybe, maybe you did. More likely you punched your Mastiff. Because <laughs> if it was a real fight, I wouldn't be talking to you right now. You'd be chunks missing out. Yeah, yet. you'd yeah. be fucking dead. A yeah. Neapolitan? That's a giant fucking dog. They're big, yeah. <laughs>